Okay, in that case, in that lecture, we're gonna talk about the late and C axis operations. Uh, in, so that's why I am creating my product by using SolidWorks. So I'm gonna turn back to SolidWorks. So in that case, I'm gonna click on that one to create my and shapes. So that's my shapes. I'm gonna click on that to make them and horizontal. After that, I can turn back to dimensional properties to make that distance like I want. Okay, after that, I'm going to extrude properties. That's my product. So that's it. Okay, after that, of course, I need to change my uh, plane. That's my plane like this. Oh, sorry. Okay. After that, I can create my shapes by using center line. That's my center line. I'm going to make that vertical. After that, I can organize my product like this. Okay. That one, that one, and that one okay after that I'm gonna turn back it and to remove that one okay I think that's enough after that I can of course organize my diameter and my land can be 120 millimeters after that maybe I can push that one like this Maybe I can organize the just angel like this. Maybe it can be like this. Okay, I think that's enough. After that, I can use the rotate my product like this. So, okay, that's it. Okay seems pretty cool uh, that is the C axis product I'm gonna save my product after that that's my six late and C axis late and C axis toolpath Okay, I'm gonna click the save button. So that's it. After that, I can turn back to master cam and I'm gonna save my old file. After that, I just wanna push the open button. Of course, I just wanna select my file format. That's my file format. I'm gonna click on that product. Okay, that's it. After that, I need to use the isometric perspective. As you can see that I need to organize my product first, firstly, so that's why I need to turn back to home. Maybe I need to change my C plane firstly. I'm going to turn back to front button. After that, I can use the transform and rotate properties. And because I just want to need to turn my product like this. So, okay. And that's not good for me right now. I need to rotate it 180 degree again. Okay, that's it. After that, I can turn back to my C plane to top perspective again. Okay, and is that okay or not? Maybe I, I maybe I need to rotate it according to right side, but it's not it's not necessary. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna push the shift button so I can write on that one that is the six and late and C axis of course late and C axis okay that is the C axis operations as you can see that so that's it okay after that I need to turn back to top perspective okay that is the main idea I need to create my product on that area x minus and y positive 
that area it's I need to draw my product and if you use the SOLIDWORKS or other product developers so you can use the lot that's kind of activities to organize your master cam after that I can turn back to wireframe options in that case I'm gonna use the turn profile I just wanna select that solid body so I'm gonna push to OK button so that's it I created my geometry like this that, that's that's enough for me okay after that of course I need to select my machine that's my default machine okay and of course if you intend to edit the some line to organize your stock or other stuff you can keep going on like this that is the five five and five options okay of course you can organize your stock I'm gonna push the properties button and make from two point options maybe that one and that one so maybe I can organize my chuck use a make from two point that's my chuck okay that's it okay I'm gonna push to late operations and roughing of course I'm gonna use the weight and partial options that's my entry point and that's my exit point okay that's it okay that's my tool that's my feed rate that's my plunge feed rate I intend to use the constant RPM I don't want to use that one but just want to edit okay what's wrong okay that's it I'm gonna push that one that's my reference point X and Z so that's it okay after that of course I need to use the finish operations partial weight options of course I think that's enough okay that's my finish operations I intend to change my radius that's my feed rate I intend to use the constant uh, cutting speed of course I need to write my spindle speed like this okay I forgot to organize that one I think I made a mistake so that's why I am using that one okay I intend to use the 200 okay roughing operations I'm gonna use that one that can be 200 with that one so that's it okay let's turn back to uh, C axis operations of course in that case I need to create my curve so I'm gonna use that properties I'm gonna push the right mouse button late operations and C axis face contour so I just need to select my geometry after that and th that part is like 2d milling operations I need to create my tool that's my linking operations incremental 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 that's my depth after that I need to decide that my depth of cut that's my leading out operations maybe I can use something like this so that's it okay let's turn back to weave properties to see what's happening of course I need to change my cut parameters it can be left side okay that's it that's our C axis operations okay it's easy okay that is the, our roughing and finishing operations and C axis operations 
after that if seems to everything okay for you you just need to push to g1 button to get your c code after that you can send it to your cnc machine okay that is the fast uh, master cam course so if you intend to uh, more professional so you can keep going our video okay that's that's just for an uh, introduction or i mean the to see the what's happening what can what can you be able what you can be able to do in mastercam okay thank you very much